what is mongoose? So mongoose is basically a wrapper. It basically helps us use MongoDB. Now, what is MongoDB? Well, first we need to know what a database is. So, a, a database, this is the Oxford definition of a database. So, it's a structured set of data held in a computer, especially one that is accessible in various ways. Okay, so if that doesn't make sense, then imagine we have a folder called 1PG, which is our bot. That is the database in MongoDB. That contains all the data that we need to, to customize the bot. So, now there's also a collection within a database. So, a collection or in a collection, it's called guilds, is a group of similar documents. So we have a guild here, which is called 1, 2, that's the ID, the snowflake ID, it doesn't matter. But in Mongoose, or MongoDB, the ID is always dollar, not dollar, um, underscore ID. This is the convention. I believe it can be changed, but this is the default ID. If, if, if it's not set, then it's just a string of random, of like random values like that. A string of, yeah, basically, and that's called a, an object ID. So there we go, here we have another similar document. Okay, so this is a collection and this is a document. Now it's JSON, but in MongoDB it's stored as BSON, which is basically the same but quicker access and it's faster. It's binary. It's binary, basically, it's stored in binary. So, what is a database management system? So, it's software that handles the storage, retrieval, and updating of data in a computer system. So, it allows us to, it allows create, read, update, delete on a database. So, MongoDB is a database, and it also, allows us to manage the data within the database. So, this is how you do it with MongoDB. It, uh, it provides a UI here to easily perform create, read, update, delete operations. This can also be done with a terminal, although it's, it's not as user-friendly, so we'll be using MongoDB Compass. If you have MongoDB installed, basically you would type MongoD. This will start the, basically it stands for Oh Mon God. It stands for Mongo Daemon, which basically is a constant process. So, let's scroll up. There we go. So it's started. So now, if we connect, so we don't have to type anything. By default, the MongoDB URL is 270017. That is the default port. We don't even need that. Localhost is our current IP for this PC. And it or the URL start with MongoDB colon slash slash. So we don't have to type anything, it automatically does it. So now if we close this, we don't need it. Okay, so now if we connect, here's a bunch of test, uh, test databases. So we're currently 
managing these databases. So as you can see, we've received connections. It's connected to this daemon of the server. So I'll just show you another bot that I have. So if we go into guilds, you can see. So this is how you would uniquely identify a guild with the, with the ID. And it basically has settings in to customize the, the guild. And V, um, underscore underscore V is basically how many times it's been modified. So we don't need to make a database. It's automatically created when we insert data with Mongoose. And it's also automatically created the MongoDB as well. This is what we're going to use in the next lecture. And this is also, we're going to install it in the next lecture, but this is what the, the command line looks like, as you can see. It's not as good as the UI, not as user-friendly. This is what a document looks like in JSON, but it's called BSON, of course. And you can query, you can do a lot with it. It's very powerful and a lot faster then saving text files because text files can become corrupt and suffer many issues in the long term. So see you in the next lecture.